Hey folks, Jodocast again. This time uh, I'm doing something a little different. I'm actually going to be featuring a blaster from a fellow Australian modder from over in Western Australia, Justin Croucher. Now, uh, he's done this, uh, well, it's a Borderlands-inspired blaster, and um, I just wanted to show you guys and uh, give it a little bit of a wrap and uh, give you a bit of a rundown as to what's... Uh, what's it's comprised of now i personally love the styling of it it's that real cartoon sort of look um a lot of the blasters in the uh, although i haven't played the game myself there's the blasters in it uh, it's a, they're a very cartoon sort of look to them um there's a whole heap of different ones uh this isn't particularly designed or styled after any in particular blaster from the game it's just to get got that same sort of cartoony sort of feel about it um i love the styling work that he's done with it with the uh the heavy lines on the outer edges and what have you i reckon it looks fantastic um now it's not just show and all uh, all show and no go um he's done a full retaliator internal transplant with this um using the orange mod work stage one and two kits um and utilizing a seven kilo spring so um, it's, uh, it, it's got a fair bit of punch. The other thing that he's also done is uh, a custom aluminium barrel and breech system in it. So it's actually got a, uh, you know, a almost, well, a semi-sealed breech set up in it. So it's getting, like, really good ranges and really good FPS. You know, it's up in the uh, apparently 130, 135 FPS range, which is awesome. Um, you know, so almost as good as what you get out of a brass breech type scenario. So anyway, um, I just thought I'd show you guys this blaster, give it a quick rundown, see what you guys think. Um, this type of video might be something that I'll uh, continue to do in the future. Um, find someone whose work that I'm actually impressed by and really like, and then just do a little short featurette on it um, on my channel. Um, and yeah, so we'll see how this one goes and gauge it from there. Uh, in other news... Um, I have managed to purchase and move into a new property. Um, I've just had all the parts come through for my 3D printer so I can finally fix it. And um, once I sort of get unpacked and set up, I'll be able to re-establish a uh, workshop so that I can actually do more mods. Um, in the meantime, I need to move some uh, of my other blasters and what have you. So I will be offering for sale some of my blasters and yes some of the more iconic ones not all of them so uh you know or if i do offer them for sale you would have to make it very much worth my while to part with them some of them are irreplaceable they cannot be re, re duplicated or or redone um the banshee in particular the uh rants and motors that are in it are no longer available the Falcon motors that are in it are no longer available. Um, you know, those type of things. Um, so, you know, it gets 176 plus feet per second out of a flywheel blaster, quad flywheel setup. So it is one of a kind. It is, uh, as far as I'm aware, currently the highest FPS flywheel blaster in the world. If I'm wrong, show me one that's higher. Um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, if, if you wanted that, if you probably best go speak to your bank manager about getting a loan. No, in seriousness though, uh, I, I in, for in order for it to be worthwhile for me to part with that, you'd have to be looking around a gorilla. Um, all right, so uh, I'll be listing um, on the different um, ner uh, nerf forums and what have you on Facebook and Instagram the blasters that I will be selling. I'll be selling off some stock blasters as well that I've got excess stock of. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. I'll most likely be selling the products via eBay. Just it's easier, cleaner, um, simpler uh, for myself as well. So uh, keep an eye out. I will. I will keep you all posted. And um, thanks for watching. Uh, leave comments in the uh, comment section down below. Let me know what you think of Justin's blaster. Um, I think he's done a great job. All right. Thanks for watching again. And uh, please subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you on the next mod. Cheers.